Ram and Mohan were flying kites from same ground F. The distance of Ram's kite from ground was hundred meter and it formed an angle of elevation of forty five degree. Mohan, who was standing on same point, made an angle of sixty degree. Okay, find distance. between two kites okay let's envisage the situation you had two people ram and mohan who were standing on the same point mohan who was standing on the same point and they are flying kites so when you fly a kite you have a thread let's say this was the kite of ram so distance of ram's kite from the ground was 100 meter so let's say this is your horizontal line this is the distance between ram's kite and the ground so we know that this height is 100 meter okay and it formed an angle of elevation of 45 degree so angle of elevation means this is 45 degree right mohan who was standing on the same point made an angle of 60 degree so he made an angle of 60 degree so 60 obviously is higher so his kite should let's say ideally lie somewhere here find the distance between the two kites so you have to find out as to what is the distance between these two kites if assuming they were in the same line let's say assuming they were in straight line why this because otherwise if it is let's say here then obviously the distance differs So let's assume that they are in a straight line. So you have this as forty-five degree. You know this distance is ten meter. So you need to find out this distance between these two. Now, if you see this triangle, can I find this distance straight away? Normally, what happens is that to find out this distance between the two kites, or whenever you use the trigonometric ratio. you need to know the angles and one of the sides to find some other side but in this case i know this angle is 60 degree but i don't know what is the height of this neither do i know what is the distance of this from the ground so the first thing i do is i will use this triangle to find out the value of distance from the ground let's call this point as x Let's call this as y. Let's call this as z, and let's call this as m. So now, if you see, basically, this angle, this side and this side. What's the relationship between these two sides? One is the side opposite to angle y, z y x, and the other one is adjacent to angle of this forty degree, five degree. 
relationship is obviously tan so we get tan angle z y x or tan 45 degree is equal to z x upon x y is equal to 100 meter upon x y 10 45 degree is equal to what is equal to 1 which means that x y is equal to 100 meter so now if you see on a broader level if you just consider triangle m y x x y i know is 100 meter this angle i know is 60 degree so can you find out the value of mx again you can say that tan 60 degree which is angle y is equal to mx upon xy right now tan 60 degree is what remember the value root 3 is equal to mx i don't know mx upon xy 100 or mx is equal to 100 root 3 right now you have to find out basically mz which is this area it's getting a bit messy let me just redraw this it's something like this m z y x you know this is 100 meter you know this complete thing is 100 root 3 so mz which is this is going to be mx minus zx which is 100 root 3 minus 100 meter or you can say 100 root 3 minus 1 If you solve root 3 minus 1, root 3 is somewhere around basically 1.71 minus 1 will give you 0.71 into 100 or 71 meter. Okay.